Good evening everyone, my name is Heather Kay and I am a Detroit metro area meteorologist. Currently we're under this very large amplitude ridge bringing in those warmer temperatures. Now I do want to point out some severe weather that is occurring down in Omaha. Now I do want to zoom out. We do have some severe weather occurring down in the Oklahoma City and this is all due to this very large low pressure system here and there's a lot of moisture wrapping around it. Now here's another severe weather update. We actually do have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, down into the southern part of South Dakota. We're about 17 degrees cooler today compared to this time yesterday. So I do want to take the time to mention some severe thunderstorm warnings that are out at this time. We do have one that is in effect until 2 p.m. for Wayne County, which is the northeastern uh, warning here shaded in red that includes the city of Detroit. And this is through uh, Saturday at 4 p.m. here. You can see that the models are indicating with very good agreement that he's going to be making his way westward into the Caribbean. There are some rainfall totals uh, from Isaac as of 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time or 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And you can see we have some pretty hefty results from Isaac. So for tomorrow as well as into sa Sunday, I should say, it's going to start to feel a little bit more like fall out there. Looking at our temperatures for today, our average for this time of the year is about 76 degrees. Today we got up to about 81, so we were above average just a bit, but tomorrow we're going to easily get above the average temperature for this time of the year. Now looking at our weather roller coaster, you can see here tomorrow is going to be an absolutely beautiful day with a high of about 79 degrees, but as we go into uh, Monday night into Tuesday, you can see that our temperatures are going to be dropping uh, pretty nicely, about a 15 degree drop to about 64, with sh uh, showers being in the region at least through half the day on Tuesday. And then the temperatures are going to drop a little bit more as we get into Wednesday here, with uh, at least partly cloudy skies with a temperature of 62 degrees. Well, there's a winter weather advisory in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for portions of our viewing area. You can see those areas shaded in white. Now, what we can expect with this winter advisory is anywhere from 3 to 6 inches in that pink region, which is in the northern Black Hills, 2 to 4 in the purple region, which is uh, west of the Black Hills, so areas uh, such as Sheridan can expect about 2 to 4, and then the 1 to 3 is in the white, and uh, once again, we are under that winter weather advisory until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, looking at our afternoon highs, you can see that there is a very large contrast in temperatures. Rapid City today was sitting at about 53 degrees, and east of Rapid City, we had temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. But look at the areas to the west of Rapid City, a lot cooler temperatures in the lower 40s to even down into the upper upper 30, so a lot cooler there. Now looking at our radar and satellite imagery, you can see that we do have some uh, moisture here in Montana as well as going south into Sheridan, so snow is falling there right now. We also have some scattered snow showers already falling in the northern Black Hills region. And this is all due to this very large low pressure system here and there's a lot of moisture wrapping around it. So this is what's causing that winter weather advisory to be in effect until tomorrow morning. A lot of moisture and a lot of snow will be falling with this system. Now looking at the hour by hour, you can see that we do have this low pressure once again with a lot of moisture wrapping around it, bringing that snow uh, falling into the northern Black Hills as well as into Wyoming and Montana. However, as we move forward into time, that low pressure will be making its way northward, bringing some clearer conditions here in the uh, Black Hills region and for the rest of the area. And going forward in time into Monday, it's going to be a pretty nice day out there. That sunshine will be returning as well as those warmer temperatures. You can also see that we do have this high pressure that's going to be in control of our weather for the next few days. 
So with that, we will be expecting a lot more sunshine as well as some warmer temperatures. So for those who have not been enjoying this last day or two with all that rain, you're in luck. That sunshine and those warmer temperatures will be returning. Now, looking at the hour by hour, you can see that we do have some snow that's going to be falling, uh, say, in Ikalaka as well as into some areas west of the city and going into uh, some future hours. You can see that moisture will be moving out. Now, as we go into tomorrow, it's going to still be a little bit cool out there with temperatures in the upper 50s and a little bit cooler going up into the northern hills. 46 at Deadwood, 40 or 48 in Deadwood, excuse me, going out into the Plains region. A little bit warmer with some 60s in Pine Ridge as well as Martin and lower 50s for the areas in northwestern South Dakota as well as into eastern Wyoming. Now going into those next seven days, you can see we do have a slight chance of a shower early in the day tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 50s. And then as we get into the beginning of the work week, we're going to be drying out as well as warming up with temperatures from Monday through next Saturday anywhere from the upper 60s to lower 70s. And good evening, everyone. My name is meteorologist Heather Kay, and this is your forecast for Wednesday, September 19th and Thursday, September 20th, 2012. Now, today we started out pretty cool out there. We almost broke a record, actually, for this day in September. It set back in 1982 at 38 degrees. Today we started out at 39, so pretty close. We're only one degree off from breaking that record. Now this time of the year, our temperature should start out at about 53 degrees, so we're almost 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. So pretty chilly out there. Hopefully you had a jacket as you went to school or to work this morning. Now looking at some of the headlines for our weather for the next few days, today was pretty nice, but some showers are expected to move through as we get into later on tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures will be starting out in the lower 50s, and we should rebound to about 70 degrees as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night looks dry with temperatures in the lower 50s as well, but the rest of the week has a chance for rain every day through Sunday. So make sure you have an umbrella handy if you're planning out going out anywhere for the next few days. Now looking at our weather out there right now, it's pretty comfortable. 61 degrees, we're under mostly clear skies. The humidity is at only at 41%, so it's pretty comfortable out there. Uh, the dew point's at 37, and the pressure is dropping a little bit every hour. Right now it's about 30.02 inches, and the winds are light out of the southeast at 9 miles per hour. Now, looking at our surface map, you can see most of us are in the lower 60s, and those winds are pretty light, but look to our west. Those winds are starting to increase in strength. So expect those winds to increase in strength as we get into tomorrow in addition to those showers. Now looking at our radar and satellite imagery courtesy of WXYZ.com, you can see that we do have some clouds in the region right now. No precipitation, but if we look to our west, you can see that the showers are not far off. They're maybe only about five or six hours away, and you can see that they're starting to cross the lake right now. I can put this in motion for you so you can see um, exactly where they're going. You can see that they're starting to cross the lake as we speak. They're going to be moving west to east. I'm expecting no severe weather with this line of uh, precipitation, just some heavy downpours, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, and that's about it. And this will be lasting off and on through the first half of tomorrow as the system quickly moves off to the east. But we're not done after that moves through and I will show you why in just a second. You can see here's our surface area map. You can see here's the system that will be bringing us some unsettled weather for the next day or two. It will continue to move its way on eastward for the next 48 hours or so as you can see here. But then as we get into uh, late Thursday into Friday, even though we will start drying out, 
this front will start to backtrack a little bit and then stall out and that will be giving us another chance for some precipitation on a Friday as that system will not make its way completely through the region but looking at tonight pretty comfortable out there a lot warmer than what we saw last night about 50 degrees under partly cloudy skies but expect those clouds to increase in coverage as we get closer to daybreak as those showers continue to move on to the east the winds will be pretty light as well at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and looking at tomorrow warming up to about 70 degrees those showers once again will be around for the first half of our day with those winds picking up as well up to 15 to 25 or 15 to 20 miles per hour excuse me with gusts to about 23 miles per hour now looking at those next seven days you can see we have a chance for precipitation through Sunday and I think Saturday is going to be our best chance for precipitation but after we get through the weekend we're going to start drying out with that sunshine returning for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And that is the end of your forecast for Wednesday, September 19th into Thursday, September 20th. And I hope that you all have a great night.